This is part two of this uh, hallway uh, one wire energy transmission experiment that uh, I did years ago. A slider saw it and uh, he got interested in stuff I was doing and uh, we've been friends for ever since then sharing information and projects and stuff and um, it was an old Stifler uh, experiment where Dr. Stifler set up his sec exciters and before we did the wireless transmission we were doing it down one wire which is one of Tesla's classic experiments and uh, I think anyway anyway the one I showed yesterday I was using my crystal oscillator circuit to do this uh, lighten up the LEDs down there and uh, today I decided just to try the function generator at um, 13.6 megahertz uh, 20 volts peak to peak on a sine wave and uh, see if it would do it and it does it's not nearly as strong as uh, the uh, one I showed yesterday uh, there's the little uh, LED panel and I was uh, doing it with this 110 uh, volt uh, light bulb panel yesterday and it won't do it with that no matter what I do this is a another coil here to help boost the voltage to light light up the LEDs but this is going down this one wire see that one wire there and then it just goes uh, into the, the uh, Averminko plug right there which is a uh, diode one way and a diode the other way it goes into the LED panel the LED panel is just put on this uh, stand here but um, one of the things that uh, was discussed was was uh, at the forum was this uh, other coil that I have set up and uh, I can't pronounce his name I think it's Guala or Guala uh, said that what this is is mutual induction which is like a transformer um, effect and that's what's going on here with these LEDs and they affect each other and that's this mutual induction and how that that can affect what's going on down there with um, mutual induction and uh, when you get this all set up here you can alter what's going on down there by fiddling with these coils and stuff you gotta go in and out of resonance down there and uh, anyway um, very interesting I studied up a little bit on mutual induction and uh, this uh, goes off even at 90 degrees which I thought was rather interesting that uh, that happens but the mutual induction will happen down here too which is this is this is a transformer kind of effect and that's coming in off the one wire but even off the one wire you get this uh, this effect anyway just uh, wanted to give an update on this um, experiment I had running uh, running a signal down one wire and getting something to light up and then uh, today like I say I did this with uh, 13.6 megahertz now I'm gonna switch the frequency and watch this thing go out of uh, out of whack down there there it goes out come back up on the frequency and it will come back on again and same thing down here if I go out at the frequency it goes off and it comes back on so you can tune this with this um, function generator um, to make the, the situation happen and I just thought this was rather interesting that uh, you can use a function generator to make that signal go down that one wire and uh, light up uh, LEDs at a distance but it's not nearly as strong as that crystal oscillator and the crystal oscillator isn't nearly strong as this the exciters either the Stifler exciter or the Slayer exciter they'll they'll really punch this down the wire but uh, this can be done uh, the discussion was this puts out about one watt of power going down this thing that was the discussion so that's what I'm dealing with uh, lighting up those things down there thanks for watching